Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, guys, this week, again, in the ICW, we've been catching good fish. We've had a major weather change that has, uh, you know, the tide was still up last time I checked, uh, which was yesterday, and we were catching fish on the edges of the ICW, both the east and the west side. But look for those redfish to really start pushing through the guts and the channels, channel edges, uh, as that weather continues to change and the water temperature continues to drop. I'm still using live shrimp, but live piggies has been working real good with a very long leader under a cork. What also what you can do is put a slip cork and uh, let that piggy swim half the way down to the bottom and then set that bobber stopper so that he's drifting down the channel, you're on the trolling motor, following that cork down the tro the edge, and when it goes under, you just set the hook and reel him in. Over here on the King Ranch shoreline, we've been getting um, some really nice trout. You know, when those north winds are blowing, you can get up and wade fish this shoreline. Uh, the water's just about right, you know, Sometimes I don't like doing it when it's crystal clear, but with the north wind blowing down it, uh, you've got a little bit of color in the water. And uh, throwing those suspending baits like corkies or broken backs or just a, a light, light, you know, 16th uh, jig head with a paddle tail, anything with white in it, and uh, you'll get some really nice fish in here. Redfish, redfish, redfish. The Packery Channel is stocked full of redfish right now it uh anywhere you go in here with a live finger mullet if you just park your vehicles or if you're in a boat just come in here and find you a spot next to some structure or channel edge and throw those uh those finger mullet and you'll catch some really nice redfish the jetties are real packed right now so yes they're catching a ton of fish at the jetties but it's just to me, I, I would have a much better time just finding a spot along the channel and letting them come through than going out and being shoulder to shoulder with people on the jetties. But, you know, if you're early enough and you get there soon enough, sometimes you can get a good spot called at the jetties. So lots of redfish in the packery right now, and uh, look for that pattern to continue the more and more cold fronts we get throughout the season. All right, I got to put this in my report. The north wind pushing through here. Uh, been catching bull reds and good numbers of black drum. Shrimp on the bottom for the drum and cut bait for the redfish. Pretty much in the past, probably I've probably gone down here a dozen times. And I've caught at least two bull reds every single time I've gone down here for the last 12 times. Except for two of them. Uh... So 10 out of 12 is not bad. And uh, just anchor up from the back, throw right on the grass line, and just sit there. Sometimes you get a bite right away. The other key is there's tons of perch in here. So one of the things you have to do is continuously put fresh bait on. So first of all, you come down here, anchor up, throw two pieces of cut bait out, whether it be cut mullet or cut skipjack. And then after five, ten minutes, put two new chunks on, throw them back out. Keep doing that over and over and over, and you'll get those reds in there pretty thick. All right, from Peniscal Point all the way down past marker nine, and all the way down to Corrales. This whole shoreline right here has got fish on it. Uh, what you really want to do with the higher tide is get up in that flat, use your power pole most of the time uh, to drift, power pole down, drift, power pole down, and you'd be amazed at how many redfish you can pull out of here starting at Penascal and working your way to the west. Um, the, uh, the trout have been good in here. We've really been getting the redfish, uh, scattered black drum, some puppy drum, and now if the tide drops out or if you have a boat that's not shallow enough to hit the edge or get up on the flat, hit the edge come out here a little bit and just work that bar and you'll catch the same number of fish right along the bar because actually the bar itself is shallower than it is up here on the shoreline 
So the bar holds fish just like the shoreline holds fish. Captain Grant Coppin, thanks for watching.